Ah, I feel a tad sick. I don't know why. Ugh. I need to do some things first. Gotta take care of my fucking paperwork, you know. So we're doing Banjo Tui. Uh, I actually personally, I I have a lot of complaints regarding um. Banjo Tui, and they mostly come down to the fact that Banjo Tui is um. How do how do I say this? It's a game that does a lot of stuff that it really shouldn't have to do. Uh, it feels like it's trying to replicate the magic of Banjo Kazooie, like all oh, this past the cool power ups. And at the same time, it really isn't. I don't know, man. I just don't know what to say about it. Funky as all heck. Um, let me just take a look at everything, make sure everything's working. I'll just give it a little bit of a start of time. Ugh. Multiplayer. So this game, uh, for some reason, the FPS mode. I don't know why it did. I don't want the mumble. The second one was Kazooie. Let's reset that real fast. Ah, <laughs> uh, man. I originally found out where Puros come from. And, um... The heck, man. What the heck? It's really all I got to add. Kind of sad no one took up my offer. Kind of sad no one took up my offer. Because I really do want to have more stuff to draw, but... I'm not an idea man. So I'm kind of reliant on other people to help out there. So... What is Banjo to eat but an exhaustion in, in, in patience? But, but, a, but a trial of patience. What are the buttons again? It's F5 and F7. There, got the Kazooie one. It's the one I want. So what happened since the previous video game? Well, a whole bunch of stuff happened, really. Also, I found out apparently why Banjo Kazooie's uh, jigsaw things freak out. It apparently has to do with how the, the jigsaws are, are, are like technically implemented. And the answer is they're not implemented in a way that works well with emulation. Also, my wires are all tangled up. I never beat the boss in the final game, but who cares? Also, my <laughs> I didn't make a safe state at the end, so... Uh, take a guess. We're just gonna have to do clip lock a little again. I like how this guy has been at this for two years. Also, I'll be honest, I, I still don't know what the hell the great Banjo Kazooie is like a game. I love it! So dumb! Doesn't the story kind of elevate like what Grunty is if she's still like in a in a usable state at this point? Look at that drill, though. Oh, 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 oh,
Perhaps someone should. Who really knows? So, the first thing you might notice is that the intro is a lot more involved, and the fact that it also starts off with freaking gambling. <laughs> God damn. That is a very well designed and detailed model considering we're on the N64. Like, hot Jesus. Oh, that was not the drill machine parked like right next to it or something. Yeah, this intro cutscene's gonna take a little bit of time, I'm afraid. I might not stream much, I'm just feeling a bit sick. Ugh. I mean, the fact it starts off with, like, a dark, stormy night. Does this game also make a lot more use of the lighting engine? And that there's one to begin with? Because I'm pretty sure there's, like, ever any dynamic lighting in Venture Kazooie. Because this has no shame. Well, it's kind of funky that we see Mumbo outside because in the first game we can easily just say, well, Mumbo's part of it all or something. I don't know. Boulder Blaster. I wonder what that other spell uh, is. You know what? I'm going to look that up right now. Come on, no one's made a... No one's made a thing on that? Oh. I wanted, I kind of wanted to play Mass Effect. I kind of wanted to play Changed. I kind of wanted to play this. I'm in a weird place. Also, all that spell did is remove the boulder. It doesn't explain in any way why Gruntold is in any usable shape. So why why tell fucking Banjo? Because the only reason Banjo had any guff with with um, with Gruntilda is because Gruntilda stole Tootie, and it's, it's implied that she kind of existed for a longer period of time than that. Like, uh, I don't know. Where did I buy anything? <laughs> 
This is one of those games, by the way. Because it basically kills off one of the old main characters. For no other reason than it can. Just like it kills off your whole old moveset. Oh man, I feel kind of sick. I don't know why. What happened to Didi who stayed inside the house? He was destroyed! at some point point out like you stop the rhyming please so <laughs> the reason there's enemies is just because the lag originally where it's like oh there's just some some plants out there no it's just like yeah there's just, just dudes I guess So now the whole area is kind of messed up. Uh, you can get like a quick brief, uh, like uh, freaking bottles. The ghost is, is when it gives you like a small, de like uh, explanation of stuff. It's basically a tutorial, which unlike before is like not many powers you have to get, but like you just have them all. Can I just? No, I can't do tech speed up yet. Annihilate it. For some reason, becomes a ghost with a halo, and you got wings. To be fair, like very few characters in that game could be. Wow, they're just really amping it up, aren't they? <laughs> layer upon layer upon layer. Well, that was the intro. Though, to be fair, I was kind of in the way of things. Just a little bit. So you can go back into your house if you really want to. Into the Banjo-Kazooie Mansion. And yes, it's basically been destroyed. <laughs> no more... Uh, there's a bottle painting up there which you can look at in the old game. In the, the previous game. And you can get your cheats which will delete your save file if you do them. Uh, they use the same mechanism that they now use for the puzzles themselves, which I find kind of strange if they went that direction, but sure. So for some reason, the basic punching maneuver has been placed by this. I don't know why. Uh, we have all the moves. No other deck to do anything with, but... So, let's get started. You may notice that a ground pound doesn't do anything, but it's a ground pound you're supposed to use. This game has something I like to call, holy shit, so many moves are just redundant. Like, it's insane how many things you learn over the course of this game that just make me go, you already technically have that move. And it's not a good thing. It's one of the reasons why this game kind of sucks. 
Because in the original Magic Kazoo, every move you got was like something different, something unique, something a little bit, a little bit, a little bit fresh. Oh, that, by the way, is the guy who's going to explain to us uh, our powers. Oh, no unique conversation. I guess they have to save up because um, they got a lot more characters now. This time there's a lot of characters around the game instead of just one character. Uh, up there, by the way. Look up there, you said a little great. We can break that open, I think now, maybe later. I need feathers, though. To try it either way. Maybe we need grenade eggs and we need the flying attack power, but... Point is, we can't get up there right now. Here's some, some sneakers to give you the quick run through us. You know, I notice they're kind of briskly leaving leaving through this. Like, they're being like, ah, here's the thing, here's that thing, here's that thing. Have fun, goodbye, go, go home. Um, welcome to exactly what Banjo 2 ultimately feels like. If I sound negative, and I stay negative... Well, it's because I got good reason to. The Gruntil, the hole. Which has a lot of polygons, for what it's worth. I don't know why there's so many god dang polygons. Music's all, all dour and sad and shit. To be fair, this game really amps up the, 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 the factor early on. Like, don't think this is like the last we've seen of this. All the trees are gone. Huh. Yeah, but that's not, see, that's why I thought you could do it in another game. You can't, but here you can. Here you can totally do it. Uh... There's a Kazooie thing. Uh, you need a special ability for the, to, to use that one, to destroy that one in specific. So yeah. <clears throat> Wasn't 50 the original the norm? Hmm. Quaint. You also notice that we don't get ones, we get like a whole bundle. Welcome to the game! Every single thing that we collect is basically like that. It's all goofy and, and strange and weird and... Oh, there's a Cheeto page, huh? I guess I might as well pick that up while I'm here. The problem is, this is like one of the most out-of-the-way areas in the entire hub. And unlike before, um, traveling between levels is actually a pretty significant part of your game. Because this game got a lot wrong. <laughs> or at least it's a different experience. Whatever it's right or wrong, it's up to you to decide on whatever note you enjoy this particular. I think that it, they just misunderstood the formula. Like, they made a very vastly different game to the point where, like, you could have just made this something else. Flying mechanics are still kind of garbage. You can climb on that rope bridge if you really want to. Uh, it's a way to get up there, but I like the, the flight pad a bit more. It's just a little more attractive. You may notice now that um, there's something with every collectible in this game that we'll get to, and that's that. Yeah, this. A lot of things in the game do this now. Um, uh, to put it bluntly, it's their way to not have to put up pickups for everything. Because we get a lot of different types of eggs. Five of them. <sighs> it's cheaters pages got torn out because you know he helped us even though we did nothing with it if we find enough pages we get cool power-ups and this time they're actually pretty neat they're not just like double the capacity it's like it's actual significant upgrades if I recall correctly the entry location is also slightly different but hey whoa wait what Oh my goodness, it does that. Okay. So this happens because uh, of a fancy thing that has to do with the whole the whole thing. So there's something called a color buffer, and apparently it uses that to store images of sorts. And in this case, that... Uh, okay, so it does mention here. Yeah. So it's a bit more expansive. We now get a little bit more information as to what we're doing. But yeah, it's, 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 it's a place. We can go there. 
game is a lot less interested in us just dwaddling around. It's a lot more objective focused, I guess, because the objectives are all over the place and the objectives are more significant. Which we can climb on this, as I said. But let's just move on. There's nothing to. There's barely anything to do. There's like at least a Cheeto page to pick up its basic supplies to get in there. And like, ah, just move on, I guess. I really don't think we can break into that until we get the uh, thing in Magoober. Enemies respawn in this version, by the way, and when I say they respawn in this version, I mean if an enemy is killed over a little while, some particle effects appear, sparkly, sparkly, gibbly goop, and he comes back. It's, uh, it's interesting. I don't like it. I think it's a terrible idea, because it, it's not, again, the combat's not that interesting. I mean, it's probably so that there's health pickups at all, at all times, because you're expected to hang around the level longer, because the things that you have to do sometimes are not as obvious. Anyway, Klongo is a recurring boss, and he's not that great. I think it comes back like three times each time he has a different little bonus effect. I think it's randomly determined. It might not be. Also, now boss have little intro clips, and I like them. So every time he has a new power. And now I just throw some potions at you. Wow. Is there a tell that I need to look out for? Oh, he's slightly brighter. Okay. You may also notice that these flasks use a very minor version of the lighting engine, even with lighting effect, even though it's like, why would, why? I know it's not this one. Yeah, I figured it was that one. Oh, well, I don't care. The boss fight's not that exciting. Also, there's way too many clones. And then Klungo just says, okay, I'm done. He drops health! Don't know why. Just kind of does. I still don't get why he's like hanging behind like this. Also, it's no longer pepper tepper tep, it's just clunk. I really don't know why the boss fight exists. They're not difficult in any way. Following the Jinjo Village. Jinjos have been changed slightly for this game. They are now a lot less good. Oh, there's a ledge over there. I wonder what power up we're gonna get at some point. It's a ledge grab. So Jinjos have been tweaked for this particular game. Uh, now you have to collect all Jinjos of one of a color. Uh, other than that, you still every Jinjo has a different amount, but it, I think it's like one, two, three, four. Like goes all the way up. And to collect all the Jinjos, you get a Jinjo thing, and it's like yay. The problem is also evil Jinchos that will show up from time to time. The gray house has been destroyed. For some reason, they put up a sign like this. Okay. Which makes me kind of sad, because, you know, gray Jinchos look kind of cool. This is a fast travel station. Let's take a look inside the Jinjo houses.
Don't get to use this optimistic song because in a second we're going to have a big reveal as to a narrative problem with this game. Oh, there's something I don't think we can do anything with yet. Like, for some reason this game has shortcuts, but also has, like, these paths, which are like, okay, you can go back and forth across the map, but you already have a shortcut system. You can't follow the trail anymore, so we gotta figure out something else. Kids and cadets. I think they called it Isla Hags, though. So remember in a previous game there was the sense of a time pressure, even though the game was all about taking your time and exploring everything? Well, let's do that again! Yeah, that is that animal that that uh, guy in uh, Gobi Valley had. Oh, it's quaint. I guess it's a common pet. They shortened that jingle too, and they also made it so that you no longer have an animation. Which is weird. How would you ever know that? Like, did you discuss this ahead of time? Anyway, he now opens a door inside the mole's house, even though he doesn't he has a rivalry with the moles on the kickball tournament, for some reason he does this. Or is able to do this, or is authorized. What a But as we leave, plot develops. And see, Quintilda needs to get some fresh go-go juice in her body to energize her form. But where do you get go-go juice? Boy, from someone with a lot of go-go. That's the final level, in case you're wondering. Well, not really a level, it's the place where they host the big, uh, stupid... That... Remember how I always complained about the, the, the quiz? Well, there's another quiz in this one, and it's even worse. Before the quiz kind of worked on your terms, now the quiz works almost entirely on the terms of the game. I mean, it's not a bad last level, it's got a lot of, a lot of, a lot of flair to it, but... Listen to me when I say this level, that this game has some problems with level design. B.O.B. controls. In reality, this was the writer's admitting defeat. doesn't even move. <laughs> I 
So yes, this game does not sit around to, to escalate its stakes. Just look at this thing, man. I mean, this is impressive. Like, when I originally saw it, I was like, ooh, that's, that's nice. Also, it's kind of weird that they dedicate this much time and resources to something that doesn't really matter in the end. Like, the fact that he's turned doesn't really do anything for the player or the game or anything. And yet they waste so much time setting up, like, the big, like, oh, this is why I gotta do this, but... The game... You know... It doesn't really need a sense of urgency. Again, although the thing is, the, the Banjo Kazooie, there's an implied time limit, but I don't think it's ever acted upon. Here, it's straight up like this will happen if you don't it's, if you don't put the pedal to the metal, which is kind of weird to have this 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 monumentous thing going on. So Jingling is now a Zambambo, and his little pet somehow survived. I don't know how. It's never explained. It's implied that Banjo would have gotten hit if he stuck around, but yeah. Uh, so there's the pet. He's like hiding on their pillow or somewhere. So he's basically indestructible. That's a weird clue to be giving out. It's very strange that you're talking about this duplicate race. Oh well. Yeah, I'm not feeling 100%. Wow. Damn, I feel funky. Wow. You backstabber. <laughs> So yes, we basically, uh... Yeah, we, uh, we just made that happen. I think there's anything in here. You may notice that, uh, in the original game, by this point, we were actually, like, having some gameplay fun. Like, we were going places, meeting people. But in this game, we're just still trying to actually get on track. So for some reason we can now zoom in, even though I don't think it affects the draw distance, which makes it completely worthless. Anyway, here's some stuff Rare was working on at the time. Ain't that a hoot? How? I like how they don't even address like how that's supposed to work. There's some more character art from some other game, I assume. Where I was doing a lot of stuff, truth be told. So welcome to the Wooded Hollow. And we immediately get a cutscene explaining to us where we should go. 
Because for some reason they just lost the confidence of the players of any, like, desire to explore things themselves. Uh, man, I am just, I feel insulted at this point. Like, the amount of talking that's going on literally just makes me go, I don't care about any of this. Ugh. So, Stomp and Swap got canned. That happened. What happened in return in, as replacement, you may say? Well, what actually happened, and this is an, an interesting little story that you might be interested to hear. They just put a few of the eggs in this game, and you can find them in, in cartridge enemies that are located somewhere around Spiral Mountain, if I recall correctly. I think there's only two eggs. There's a, a purple one and a blue one. A pink one and a blue one, I guess. Uh, up here is another yellow egg, which Kazooie can hatch, but we need the Kazooie and Banjo Panel, which are located under here. The game tells us this even though we can't even see them, so hilarity ensues. Isn't this the exact same egg model they used before? Or at least similar textures? Jesus. This game does not. Just does not. That's a different texture. Okay. <sighs> so when I'm grumpy about this game, the reason I'm grumpy is that I love this game. And at one point in my life, I thought this game was amazing. Then I saw someone else play it, and I was like, What? Is this the game I remember? And um, things went a bit funky from there. So for some reason this path exists. Why why doesn't Ginger open up that path and just like go up here instead of making us go through Bottles' place? Because Bottles' place gets us the the the, the, the Amazo specs or whatever they're called. So sure, whatever. But it's kind of extremely odd to do that I don't know man, it's just There's a black Jinjo. No. Don't worry, we won't get this cutscene every time we save a Jinjo. So, yep. Nine. You gotta get nine. Now, of course, the way it balances out is that there's nine, eight, all the way down to one. Make it sound so special. Come oh, give me the family heirloom. It's just a jiggy. And that's really sad. There's one thing I really want to get to before I, I stop, which is the part where my brain went, okay, yeah, this this game. Get some help. So, they could have just ignored all of this. Like, there's a lot of extra work going on here for what... Like, we really think about it, they could have just taken a big axe and, like, cut off half, and they would have been fine. Like, look at all this setup. Unfortunately, don't work on the emulator, so... Oh, are these, like, levels? I, I don't know what these are again. I 
I guess these are like hints for Jiggies, for levels you've unlocked, I assume. Um, there's also one, one thing you might not know about, which is behind this guy. I don't know what's back here. Let's take a look. Well, you really gotta want this, huh? No. Holy shit. Just let me read the sign! <laughs> I don't know what any of that means. <sighs> I don't know what any of that means. We don't even know what Witchy World is in the game. It's like, here's Witchy World. This isn't supposed to work. So yep, every level you want to unlock, you gotta do one of these. And they don't get any better. They eventually involve turning and twisting of pieces, and it's like, come on, man. You could have kept it classy, but you decided to go for the hot shots. Stop once you get into the first level, and I get to point out a problem. Notice how much time this takes compared to Banjo Kazooie, where it just showed you the thing happening, and it's like, yay! And here it's like, here's an entire involved sequence of events. Which you really, again, it doesn't need this. And that's the problem I have with it. Is it? It's hugely involved, and it eats up a bunch of time, and you kind of have to sit there. And now it's a lot more about you need these pieces instead of you fill them in. It's just like, uh... It's very flashy. For a game that really wasn't about the flash, you know. How many do we need this time? We need four, which makes sense because, fun fact, it's kind of difficult to get all the jiggies in a level in one go. Because for some strange reason, they became obsessed with this idea of levels having lots of jiggies that are, like, not really part of one place. So in levels, there are teleport pads now. Because, uh, they couldn't be arsed. That... That, that looks... Perfectly tenable. But, guess not! So you notice the little notes in nests. I'm like, hey, what's, what's that? What's, what's all this about? Oh. Every level... There are 16 of these note bundles. This is Econ Um There are 60 note bundles, and there is one, the, the big, big flashy finale. Uh, 20 cleft item. So we need that flight pad to get up there, huh? Anyway, here's a weirdo. We cannot talk to the stranger. It would help if we could actually engage a conversation, because I know you can talk to these guys in this state. They do too, it's just that we need to be transformed to do that. 
So this game also handles Bando, uh, Mumbo differently. Man, I wonder why is there a Mumbo pad here? I don't know why that sign is there. That sign contributes literally nothing to this level. Which can be said to a lot about a lot of things. It's not even like good flyer, because it's a thing you have to read. There's our first major power-up. And he's like, hey, don't forget about me! I mean, it's got a blinking light on it. And it still feels the need to show us it in a cutscene. I like how this guy does not give a damn. <laughs> the problem is these advanced techniques are not that good. <laughs> a lot of them revolve around... It, it, I don't know what to say about them other than that... Um, And if you want to, he's just like, come on, dude, come on, dude, come on. I like how he's like, dude, 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 come on. I, I, I don't wanna. So the reason we get this power up is very simple. It's very, it's, it's elementary, my dear Watson. That's why you get it. The amount of people that never did that is surprising to me. The actual reason we got it so we can get in here. In case you wondered, this is very sensitive. There's other ones. Yeah, there's one up there, isn't there? And there we go. Now, a game is like, okay, fine, I can see where this comes from. I can see the, the, the purpose behind having such an item in the game. That's all fun, and here's the, the, the telepad. God damn. I think that this first one we actually get the, the item inside his, his house. It's like very specific about it. You notice we already have 18 notes. Yep. Apparently, you can just spam B and it'll be fine. That's neat. So for some reason, there's a whole first-person shooting segment inside that giant pyramid. It's a dungeon with a boss and a whole bunch of stuff going, here's the cleft. And we also notice that this actually puts us at having everything. And we barely went anywhere. Also, the game does not save totals. You now just have to get them. And once you got them, you got them. We can't get up there without the ledge grab, I guess. Who knows what she wanted to ask us. 
I don't like the new version. It's so much... Like, the old game, it's so much charm going into it. There's a certain, like, softness to it, and this game is so harsh, and, like, just go and do the thing, but at the same time, you want you to sit through several characters talking for 15 minutes. It's just goofy. Okay? It's goofy. It doesn't appeal. It's like, I have to go around this level knowing I already have all the notes, so all I'm doing is getting jiggies. I mean, it almost feels like it's a criticism of the original game's design. Like, they were like, ah, the notes, no one liked that part, so we just made it simpler and straightforward. Yeah, we can't go there yet until we get the flight pad, which we can't get yet until we get the drill maneuver. The drill maneuver, which, by the way, is almost exclusively de best defined as, quite literally, just another uh, ground pound. How do we get up there? Oh. oh we, need to we need to grapple move. The ledge grab move. Which, was, if I recall correctly, actually comes with another move for some reason. Um, whatever. I just want to play a change and get frustrated because that game is apparently kind of difficult, or it's, dis it's described as difficult. I'm gonna get over it because it's cute. It's a cute game. It's cute things. I don't want to play this game. It's not a, not a good thing. Wow, we got a Jiggy for going all the way up here. Wow. So now... Now I gotta do a bunch of stuff. There are a whole lot of statues to collect, and not a lot of, uh, as they scientifically define it, fucks to go around. I don't know this level too well, okay? Because I can't be arsed with this stuff. I just don't care. And you want to know what's, what's the, what the bad thing is? If someone can straight up just say to your face, I do not care about your level design. You did something wrong. Hey, Matt, are you just being rude? Yes. Yes, I am. There's strafe. Oh, that's how you do it. Okay. Oh, there's stuck two of them. This level's not what I remember being. There's a sign here, too.
This one sucks. So sometimes you get a question mark or an exclamation point. The exclamation point will go back and forth in a logical pattern and is pretty easy to control. The question mark one will does whatever it feels like at any given moment. And as a result, it's much more difficult to control, and has a tendency to result in the player losing. Now we get the both. Okay, so if I recall correctly, the one to the left is not the boss fight. The one to the right is the boss fight. It's all fine and dandy to me, but whatever. God, I forgot about you. How could I forget about you, boy? Notice how everything comes back, because that's apparently more exciting than if nothing comes back. And don't worry, this is not the only time we're going to have any anything going on with this. There's lots going on with this. There's at least two more sections. There's one in the mines, there's one in, in Grunty Industries. There's probably more. And no, they don't get any better. I'm sad Como didn't answer, because... That was easy, wasn't it? Which is to incentivize you to do the other one, too, and be like, That was easy, this is probably also easy, but it's not, it's not really easy. <laughs> Now we got to fight a boss fight, and after that I'm going to call it, because I don't care. <laughs> we'll cut it, call it when I show you off what Mumbo does in this game. You say that. Technically, I guess you can get pretty far without having to do too much of the extra uh, footwork. Remember Juju in the first game? It was like a little, tiny little puzzle to make you more familiar with the game. Oh, man. I really forgot how lame this was. Critters do, though. They made eggs actually a valuable resource. Heck. I mean, that's your problem that you self-destruct. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done.
I'm not in the mood for this. I don't know why. I'm just in a really sour mood today. I don't know why. It, it's upsetting me slightly, actually, to, to be this, this, this bad a mood. How many cheekies do we have? Five. We can already go to the next level, which I kind of want to, because the next level gives us one of the, 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 the more important... Actually, all the upgrades are important. Just like, at this point, this is the upgrades you can immediately see. That handsome fellow is um, a common enemy. So this is the golden eggs. You literally just shoot a bunch of eggs. Hope you like eggs. There's no reason for this power-up to exist, because in conventional battle, you don't need that many eggs. In the boss battle, there's way too much dead time for this power to get to its full use, so... <coughs> I just want to play Mass Effect. I'll be honest. Would have been great. Because uh, I think that this is going to be me not being as chill. But I'm gonna be ch I'll try to be chill. I just won't be very optimistic. Uh, as I said, it's just like... I think they just mis didn't fully understand what to do. Wow, really? Get the power up out here? <sighs> so this game requires you to do the following. You gotta get a globo. Uh, the way it works is dead straightforward. If you want to use Mambo, you need a globo. If you want to get the transformation for the level, you need a globo. You only need one. Once you, once, you, once, you once you hand it in, you're done. You don't have to ever worry about it again. The game just decides to, to spell out for you exactly what it wants, because why not? This bag looks really good, though. They kind of need him to get further, but as you can see, you can get enough jiggies to get to the next level without having to do mo do a mumbo. You can do it without finding the boss. Where's the fun in that? His zapstick blows. He can't swim. He can't do anything. He doesn't have any of the good moves that the Banjo Kazooie have. Uh, this is his zapstick. The problem with his zapstick is that it requires a few seconds of continuous contact with an enemy to actually destroy said enemy or deal damage at all. Result of which is that it's not a great attack. It doesn't do much good. So next time, we're gonna bring to life. A Let me just demonstrate this on this on this poor hapless Maggie. I mean, it's 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 not a terrible thing. It's actually kind of cool to do, but it's at the same time, it's like, again, combat's not a massive factor in this game, so why does it have so much focus on it? Like this waterway too is just like it's there. So this is Mumbo. He can't he can't dive or anything. He can barely move. Next time we're gonna give this guy a bit of a pep talk and a pep walk. Until then, I'm gonna go play that. I need stone to play uh, Pirates of Fate or Fate of something. What's it called again? Fate, Fate, Fate. Where is this game? The Pirates Fate. I still have to play that one. I, I got it as a gift and I said I'd play it. You know what? That's going to go on the docket. We'll put that on the docket. Game I'm going to play. Stupid furry fetish transformation game. Which is technically also changed, but I don't know. Changed as a game. As, as... <sighs> Whatever. It, it does the game maker thing of what I don't like is is, is a game maker uh, sprite interaction. It's terrible. Um, next time we'll bring this thing to life. It's not gonna be exciting. Oh, but there's one thing. Uh, the first time you use any mumbo pad or uh, or transform, uh, a little globo comes out, and it's 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 a neat little detail. But other than that, next time, next time, next time, next time, next time. Not now. Sorry about it. Search stream.